Oh hey, check out the clickbait. This is Swiss Toboggan at Little America in Marshall, Wisconsin. And it is the only one remaining of its type in the United States. There used to be a bunch of these back in the, like the 60s and stuff when your grandparents were getting hurt riding shitty rides at their local amusement parks. There's kind of a reason why there's only one of these left in the country, and that's because this is uh, the most low capacity, nonsense, bullshit kind of roller coaster you can really ride. And honestly, for a complete weird, stupid ass like myself and also my friend Clear Loop with a smile on his face, this is this shit's more important as a coaster credit than something like Velocicoaster. I mean, who who cares about roller coasters like that when you have unique experiences like this cramped thing or if you're over five foot ten, it's just the worst day of your life. Look at him. I mean, like, that right there is just spine pain for sure. Uh, <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. So anyway, if you're over a certain height, it's already utterly terrible. It's a bumpy fucking thing. The lift hill is just straight frightening. It's just like a tube from the 60s going, you know. I mean, look at that. Do I really <laughs> I need to explain to you how fucked this is? Oh my god. Um, anyway, uh, regarding Little America, uh, it is a park that I honestly can't believe exists. It is a uh, basically a museum of just old freaking roller coasters that, you know, very rare models, you really can't find it all. And the dude spent $40,000, Lee Merrick, that's why the park is spelled terrible, A-M-E-R-R-I-C-K-A. -E uh, Lee Merrick decided to just go hardcore with an auction thing, $40,000 got him this and three other, you know, ancient things that wouldn't make sense in any modern park, but here, it's just charming. Like, this right here, I can't stress enough the claustrophobia of this, as you can see. You're in a prison by yourself. God forbid sitting in this thing with two people. I don't care how small you are. This is crazy. And I, what, I, I've been anticipating riding this roller coaster for seven years. However, I didn't really realize that other than, you know, being trapped in this little prison car that just bonks your head around. You also get, like, tucked in real good with the thing pushing on your chest. So the claustrophobia of being inside this this prison is even further enhanced by the fact that, well, along with this vertical lift hill, that you're being pushed into your seat by like the little padded huge thing. It's the size of like both of your arms together, like that thickness pushing on you. Anyway, to the, the, um, this helix, um, this continuous helix, the jank is just unreal. As you can see, this is, you know, definitely in a very populated area. This little, uh, this little drop right here, if you're over a certain height, you're about to get fucked. And boom, I mean, it's awful when you, if, you know, if, if, if you're not bracing for it, but me, man, I'm on multiple gummies in this video. And I, even though I only spent like an hour here, and by the way, you'll get a full Little America review later on, just wait a few months. Um, I can't recommend it enough for people with weird, warped personalities, and especially people in Wisconsin. Wisconsin come on, man, go, go check that shit out. That ride operator was cool, all the staff in this park was great, and honestly, go visit the clickbait in real life. It'll be a good Instagram post. Yeah, just go do that shit. Little America, I love that shit, man.